In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding the asymptotes of a rational function, linear over linear. We have the function here f of x, and we're asked to find both the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. To find the vertical asymptote, I first make sure that our function is in simplest form. So is there anything, especially any factors in the numerator that will cancel in the denominator? And here the function is already simplified. There's nothing to cancel. So I will have a vertical asymptote where the denominator here, negative x plus two equals zero. So I can find that vertical asymptote by solving here for x for subtracting two over to the other side, gives me a negative x equals negative two, and then dividing both sides by negative one gives me an x equals two. So we have a vertical asymptote at x equals two, and we were asked to graph the asymptote. And then for the horizontal, we'll look at the degree of the numerator, which we'll call n, and the degree of the denominator, which we'll call m. And if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, the denominator is gonna get large quicker. And when the denominator of a fraction gets large, then it is moving towards zero. Then the fraction is moving closer to zero. But since it can't get there, our asymptote would be y equals zero. If both n and m are the same, so the same degree in the numerator and the denominator, our asymptote would just be y equals the fraction, where that fraction is the leading coefficient of the top over the leading coefficient of the bottom. And then the last possibility is that the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator. And in this case, there is no horizontal asymptote. Looking back at our function, the degree of the top is one and the degree of the bottom is also one. So they are the same. Our asymptote will be y equals the leading coefficient of the top, which here is one over the leading coefficient of the bottom, which here is negative one. So y equals negative one is our horizontal asymptote. Back on the graph, y equals negative one is the horizontal line going through the value, y equals negative one. These are our two asymptotes. 